welcome back to another session of ANSYS tutorial in this tutorial I'll be um, dealing with ANSYS multi-body dynamics so for that what you need to do is you need to go to transient structural MBD uh, make sure you select MBD not ANSYS MBD structural multi-body dynamics <coughs> click and drag drop so in today's studies I will be using the governance governance system system for my um, for explaining how to um, formulate your problem so I'll just right click in my geometry and uh, import geometry I'll, I'll already have a parasolic form of uh, governor assembly I'll just click OK and I'll start the mechanical multiphysics system so, OK here we go this is my rough idea of a governor well it doesn't look actually like that but it's just to explain it so in order to check that whether the body is uh, truly uh, MBD what you need to do is you need to go and check underneath the uh, geometry click on each uh, part or a solid you should see the stiffness behavior should be rigid not flexible okay so that is another thing and another thing you will notice is if it's a rigid it will have a separate coordinate system the system will have a separate coordinate system I'll just change it to flexible and you could see the coordinate system has gone for the governor shaft mill so I'll just change it back to rigid and you can see it is now it's back fine okay so that was about the geometry and about the coordinate system there's only one co um, global coordinate system I have and regarding connection there will be no contacts between any of the bodies or a body surface because we are in MVD so I'll just delete all of them which has been like self-developed I'll go to connection and from here I'll go for the body to ground contacts and body to body contacts okay these will establish a normal relationship between each and every body because um, and uh, uh, and they are fixed in their own coordinate system so it, these options are very very much useful to um, relate the coordinate systems so I'll start up, I'll click on fixed. So the center shaft, I'll keep it as fixed for myself. Just in this tutorial, I'm considering fixed in actual case. If this not fixed, it's a driven. Okay, so I'll say okay. And uh, you could see it's been fixed. So I'll go to body to body and I'll say revolute. So um, I'll click on this and I'll say apply. And I'll select to mobile, mobile one. And um, I'll say view body so in this body I could easily um, I could use this option in order to simplify my selection process okay so right now I'll click here and I'll select this geometry it will automatically appear I'll select the inner one because that is the thing about which it need to be revolved so I'll say okay so I'll jump to um, I'll go back and select another revolute and uh, select this one as my reference and uh, the surface again as my mobile and I'll say apply every joints I have say apply and go uh, select the mobile and I'll say apply okay there's another thing I would like to tell you is over here itself it will tell you the uh, connection type the type of connection you have and the, sorry type connection type existing between two bodies or effects you can even put your uh, torsion stiffness and the damping question up for the particular object a rigid body one it's not a material property you're putting you're putting the well you're putting the property for the rigid component but you could always construct to, like you can manipulate it and um, it could be always equal to material not the exact material property uh, well calculated one okay. so carry on with my selection I'll go to review and uh, select apply such a selection again body to review well body views always helps you in order to select your components especially when you have a big assemblies of components and you don't know what you have to do so they are really helpful so right now I would just like to check um, how does my product behave so I'll just go to the main review 
and I'll say configure. Now a triad axle, um, a triad will appear with three axes, uh, which will give me a, a freedom of uh, axis, um, give me a freedom along the six degrees of freedom. One is along my x-axis, uh, z-axis and y-axis and rotation about x-axis, rotation about uh, sorry, rotation about x-axis, rotation about y-axis, rotation, rotation about z-axis. But in this case the revolute has been um, activated only about x-axis. So that's the reason um, um, the degree of freedom along the y sorry y-axis uh, sorry um, the degree of freedom along the y-axis is only active so you and it highlights you in the i would say it's something uh, uh, very light green blue color I, I don't know so i'll just keep my cursor select there and i'll rotate and see now you could see how it behaves fine i'll repeat the same thing with another joint i'll say configure over here uh, my axis of rotation is about z axis fine and you could see but I need to fix up the bottom part also so I'll do it right now and if you want to set up to a certain degree you can always set it stating here and click set or if you want to for an instant I'll put it as 100 and you could see it has been set to 100 so I'll say set it will set that itself uh, if you want to change it you can always click rivet and it will go back to original position where you've been working from so here I got few um, warning messages uh, nothing to worry at this point of stage okay i'll just fix up i'll just uh, give a relation for the my bottom slide and i'll just see whether i could my cylindrical option so that it will help me out in one or other way okay it works out well back and see. well that works absolutely fine for me well that is absolutely fine for me so i've done with my connections so i'll close this tree jump to transient or sorry analysis and analysis setting i will put number of steps to be three and you could see these are the tablet columns and uh, over here i'll put a remote displacement rather than putting any kinds of tools so i'll just rotate it with respective uh, by specifying the displacement I'll select the geometry that I would like to, um, for which I would like to specify the um, displacement. So I've selected one. So I need a rotation about y axis. So I'll just click in here and say table time. So for first, I'll put 180. For second, I'll put um, 360. 180 plus 180 is 360. And for um, third, I'll put 540. 340. Okay, I'm done, and I could go to graph, and I could see um, uh, the displacement is increasing linearly with respect to the time. Okay, and another thing I'd like to tell you is, if I'll just put it as 180 back. Uh, check out the difference in a graph. Okay, so it comes back to 180. So the thing is, here the reference is made with respect to the origin, not with respect to the previous. Uh, um, displacement you have you have specified so this displacement is always with respect to the zero not with respect to the previous um, uh, value you have specified so i'll keep it as five zero uh, whereas in a um, uh, few soft uh, like uh, i remember working in um, solidworks um, rigid body dynamics in there i had a problem so um, it was with respect to the previous steps so it's it's just a uh, idea I'm giving you so I'll jump to solution I'll say total deformation well it won't give me a total deformation anyhow let's just select the spring okay I'm not done with the spring so I'll go back to my connection and uh, body to body spring and I'll select this phase I'll say apply and I'll select this phase I'll say apply so my spring is done and longitudinal surface I'll put zero 0, 0.5 okay i could even add a damping but i won't be adding it because you could see the better fluctuation values without damping springs are known for the fluctuations right so i'll just jump back to solution and i'll go to the 